Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples and eaten breakfast with them, he said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. Then he said a second time to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. This is after the resurrection. Remember the scene? Fishermen were in the boat. They went back to their trade. And they see someone on the shore, and it's John who recognizes it's Jesus first. And Jesus invites them to come and have breakfast. Now there's a big clue here that John doesn't want us to miss. He mentions on the seashore that there's a charcoal fire. Jesus is cooking the fish on this charcoal fire. The only other time we hear about a charcoal fire in the Gospel of John is when Jesus was arrested. And Peter was outside the high priest's house, warming his hands by a charcoal fire. So John wants us to know this moment relates back to that moment. Very clever. So what does Jesus do? He rehabilitates Peter. He gives him a chance to redeem himself. But it could have gone a very different way, right? He could have come in. Uh, I'm not saying the Lord would ever do these things, but we do these things. He could have come in, and Jesus ignored him. He talked to all the other apostles and ignored Peter because he's upset with Peter. He could have done that. Or when Peter came in, he could have said to him, how could you? How could you do that to me? Right? Do that? He could have said to him, so, I told you so. You said you were going to never deny me? Just like I said, as soon as I was arrested, there you went, there you went, and denied me. He could have gone all that way. Or he could have brought it up and said, we got some things to talk about. You know what? I'm going to forgive you, but you can't be my rock anymore. I'm going to have to give that to one of the other apostles. Right? All of those things could have gone that way. Look at how kind Jesus is. He gives Peter a chance to reaffirm himself, reaffirm his love in Jesus. You don't get the feeling that, Jesus, that Peter is catching this, because at one point he gets kind of perturbed. Lord, why are you asking me this? You know I love you. But when we look at it from our point of view, what the Lord was doing, because he recommissions him after each time, Tend my sheep, feed my sheep. You are my rock. And in this beautiful moment, he 
shows Peter that he's forgiven him. How wonderful the Lord is. What, what, uh, listen to that mercy. He knew what Peter needed. Otherwise, he was going to regret this the rest of his life. He gives him a chance to say three times, Lord, I love you. I love you. I love you.